Hi everyone, it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Thanks so much for uh, dropping in here today in my very brightly lit studio. Uh, it is quite sunny this afternoon, which is really nice for a change. I've had to draw the curtains because it would be blinding for you. And, uh, and too hot for me, actually. It would be really, really hot in here. It's like a greenhouse in here when the sun is shining so much, uh, the back part here. So today, uh, I also have Snowball here who decided to make an appearance. You want to say hi? Of course, she's quiet now. <laughs> Can't glass your tongue? Um, so I have a Dollarama. Catfer. I have a Dollarama haul to share with you today uh, and you know my focus is always uh, showing you all the crafty stuff that we can get at Dollarama and how to use other items that we can purchase at one of our favorite stores here in Canada uh, to use in your creative making or for storage and organizing all your tools and supplies. So. There wasn't much new for the craft items at Dollarama. There were a few new things, and if you're interested in seeing uh, what I found, stay tuned. So, the first item I have to share with you is really about organizing and storage. Now, I picked these up in the, mm, I wanna say, uh, I call it the laundry room, bathroom area. <laughs> where they have like clothespins and laundry hampers and those little mesh bags for washing delicates and clothes hangers. Uh, that's usually in the same area in every Dollarama. They, and so in the Dollarama I was at yesterday, they had these, the brand is Maurice, three pieces, uh, foldable clear plastic shoe boxes. They sell these for $4. I believe the price has gone up. I'm pretty sure they used to be $3, but I could be mistaken. Anyway, <clears throat> I had seen the, these in the past before, and I didn't buy them. I wasn't interested in them. And then yesterday, I just thought they had a lot. They had just put a lot out on the peg, the, you know, the, the board that they have, the Oh my goodness, the kind of pegboard that they have, you know, at the do dollar store. Anyway, so I saw these and I was like, hmm, I do need to do some organizing in the closet. I have a small, well, I have a closet that is only for shoes and bags and stuff because it doesn't have any poles, it's just shelves. Anyway, so I thought, yeah, I really, I really need to you know, go through that and there's so many shoes and bags and stuff in there that I don't use I should just you know give it away so I thought well maybe I could put the stuff I do want to keep but I don't use often in some boxes uh, but the truth is I prefer the boxes that have lids on them and I already have a lot of those shoe boxes the plastic shoe boxes that we can buy at dollar stores so I'm not sure I'll be using these for shoes but I might I never say never but I got an idea for storage in of our craft supplies sewing arts uh, crafts all sorts of things that we can put in here so let me show you what one of these boxes looks like remember there are three in here these are four dollars per pack this is what the box looks like once it's folded up now that it's empty it does have a little handle so you could store it like this you could store it like this if you want whichever or you could stack them and there are four five five holes here uh, and I assume those are ventilation holes because if you store your good shoes in here they do need to have some air circulating so uh, you know the the leather and all that stays nice so these are sold as shoe boxes. Now, I thought, wouldn't these be great for storing yarn? That's right, because I have a huge yarn collection that I have in 
some cubby kind of like the calyx units that everybody buys at ikea mine's not a calyx thing though it's something i picked up i think a giant tiger or walmart but anyway you know what i mean so uh and i have yarn in there and i'm not using that yarn right now and it's just gathering dust and i was thinking oh i should put it in some plastic bags at least and la, 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 la. and i was just going back and forth on on ideas i could use and then i thought i saw these at dollarama and i thought well maybe these would be a good way to store the yarns that i'm not using currently they would be uh, dust free and you know it would free from mites and everything else that you know gets into our yarns plus i thought these holes would make a great way to pass the yarn through so if i was working on a project if you ever worked on a knitting or crochet project where you're using multiple yarns especially different colors of yarns can you imagine we can you could stack quite a few skeins of yarn in here and thread each one through the holes so or it's a good way to identify which yarns you have in there besides the fact that it is clear you should be able to see the colors but uh yeah so i just thought that is something that could be used for storage of our yarn or other craft supplies these are made to hold fairly lightweight items i wouldn't store rocks in here for <laughs> for sure or lots of paper that might be too heavy for it but things like batting things like yarns things like uh it's rolls of ribbon things like that that are unruly and yeah need to be kept dust free so i just thought this would be uh, a good alternative so i wanted to share that with you now an item i was in need of and frankly maybe i'm not in need of it but i was just too darn lazy to go look in my stash in the basement to see if i had any or wipe wipe white pipe cleaners uh, so chenille stems in the color of white there are a uh, hundred pieces in here and this is two dollars at the dollarama i didn't compare with dollar tree i think the bags at dollar tree are slightly smaller and i really didn't mind paying a little extra if I was paying a little extra but uh, yeah I wanted some white pipe cleaners because I saw something on YouTube you know there's weird people who make videos on YouTube about crafts and stuff and I saw something and I want to give it a try <laughs> I'll get back to you on that so that is something I picked up not a new item but something I picked up for crafting a not a new item but i was glad that the store had put out more of the little wooden rings so i got more of these you get it doesn't say how many rings there are in here but they are a dollar 25 and they do come in three different sizes this is the largest size and this is the medium size now a new item at Dollarama and last the week before when I went to the same Dollarama I saw one of these on the shelf there was only one and it was damaged so I was I was disappointed but this week they had a whole bunch of these and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but I just love the shape and the idea of this this is like an egg carton but it's ceramic um, it is the brand inside. I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on, but this is $3. This is available at Dollarama. It's a nice piece. Uh, this one doesn't have any defects in it, like, unlike the one I saw previously. And I just think this is really pretty. Now, of course, for eggs in the kitchen, it would be ideal. But I thought it might be great also here in the craft room or studio for different kinds of little embellishments little beads little doodads that we we need to use in projects maybe even for paints or inks uh yeah i just thought it was really pretty and so many uses and now i'm thinking maybe i should have bought one for my kitchen and one for the craft room because i want to keep this one in the craft room now <laughs> so this is three dollars 
a new item and um, this uh, is an Easter thing but it could be a craft thing they had these fillable candy holders that look like chocolate bunnies they're not real chocolate people these are plastic but these are perfect for those of us who are not supposed to eat too much chocolate so <laughs> we can stare at them <laughs> just don't eat them they're not going to be very good uh yeah and they actually come in a plastic like, like the mold like like chocolate bunnies oh these are funny so let me open this so you can see what it's like so they're actually packaged like chocolate easter bunnies <laughs> there's the mold and this is what they look like they look so much like real chocolate but they're not and they come apart and you could put stuff in them and i just thought they would be really pretty as a decoration uh, for an easter brunch or something you know just to have them around as a decoration um, and they are a dollar fifty for the set of three fake chocolate bunnies <laughs> now not a new item at Dollarama they've had these before but again at this store they had put a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch more of these so I got some more because I think they were such a good deal the paper butterflies and it depends on which color you pick up because there are 33 of these butterflies in here this one also has 33 in the pink the blue and teal are 32 and I think that's because there's like a really really big one in this and this one has 35 so I got a few more packages of those butterflies because I just think they're a really good deal and butterflies are one of those things that I can use I use a lot of in projects paper crafts decorating and this those don't go out of style basically so uh, they won't go bad before I use them all now new at this Dollarama is two-way sequin fabric I have purchased from them and I've showed this uh, in videos two-way sequin uh, ribbons and I've also seen two-way sequin uh, storage bins that fit in those uh, cube units and now this is fabric so and if they say it's reversible yeah two-way sequin fabric does it say how much there is on here there is no information on here as to how much there is, but I will open one up to show you. This is how it is wrapped. They sell this for $3 a piece, which considering it's sequin fabric, and I don't know if you've been to the fabric store, sequin fabric is usually pricey. So. Uh, yeah, and this is just a small sheet. I would venture a guess that this is about it's a bit bigger than eight and a half by eleven because it's all it's slightly larger than a sheet of paper, I would say. And so this one is available in black and gold. So just to give you an idea that this is three dollars and this is what you get. And yeah. Uh, so they had the black and gold. They had a lot of colors. I did not buy every single one because I really didn't know if I would ever use all of that. I did get this one in the blue and the silver. This one in the t like teal and purple. And this one in this fuchsia and silver. So $3. So that is new. And... Uh, I've seen other people haul these before. I know it's not brand new, but I did not have any, so I bought the ribbon with the flowers in pink. I just bought in pink. There are different colors, many different colors. I just wanted some in pink, so that's what I got. And I was in need of index cards, so I got them while I was there. These are a dollar, I believe. I don't have the receipt in front of me, but I believe these are a dollar. Oh, did I say the ribbon? Do the ribbon is a dollar fifty. And also, uh, I got this is not a crafty item, but I thought it was fun. I got these. They call them sandals, and they are four dollars. So they're like 
they're like the foam, like almost like Crocs. And they have, they're, they're fluffy, fluffy fuzzy. So I thought these would be nice to wear uh, coming out of the shower. Uh, they, you know, and the non-slip would be really, really great for walking in my bathroom because it's all tile. And I love the pink and I just thought, yeah, that's what I'm going to wear these for. Like slippers or coming out of the shower type of thing. So, uh, yep, I got them and they're pretty because they're pink. And last but not least, I did buy, I did buy some uh, snacks for my boys, but you can bet that those are gone by now. And this is new. This is a Tech One wireless charger. I have not tried it yet. I am looking forward to testing this baby out. $4 for a wireless charger? Yes, please. Will it work with my iPhone? I have no idea, but I am willing to give this a try. And worst case scenario, if this does not work with my iPhone, my son has an Android, and I know lots of people with Androids, so. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but uh, $4? Why not? Let's give this a try. And that's it for Dollarama. It's not huge, but like I said, there were there weren't man, there weren't any new craft items besides the fabric at the store that I went to. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you liked something in this Dollarama haul. I hope I gave you some creative ideas. Uh, go get your craft on now and tell me what you're going to do. <laughs> so until next time, take care of yourself. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, you should. That way, and if you click on the bell, you won't miss any of the videos uh, that I put out. So until next time, uh, be good, be crafty. I'll see you later. Bye.